We have two more performances tonight. First up is Erin of Katniss, who is going to be performing a poem. And then I will be closing out the evening with some more Ladino music and probably an Italian song just for fun. Erin of Katniss, you are up. It's actually Katniss, but that's okay. You're not the first one to mispronounce that. Oh, my apologies. I clearly watched too much Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah, but when you think about it, he already got the nickname of Cat Island because the Vikings and they fought cats. So you do the math on that. Nice. Okay, so I have a poem that I wrote a couple of years ago um, as a memorial for a fellow fighter that had passed away. Um, she was a fighter for Rome. We all know how Romans are. They are very much an ironclad, tight-knit family, which is no different from anybody else in the FDA, but you can definitely tell who they are. Um, and this, because of my persona being Scots-Irish, um, aptly named the Shield Maid of Rome. "'Twas once a lady fair, olive skin and raven hair. She journeyed far and wide to a place to call home, where she finally rested long at last, they called Rome. The lady commander Jade fought beside Pontius and Dominus. Here on the isles, we'd call her the shield maid. Though she was Rome, she was one of us. With her fine hair down, she was dressed in fine lady's attire. But when her hair is swept back, donning that crimson red, she was fire. In her armor of silver and black, the Lady Centurion brought the fight. Those who'd stayed for attack, while those with sense, took flight. This tale was told to me by now a long gone Narnia, a longtime friend of Rome, her shield azure, reached in leaves a ghoul's lion. Some wine flora, I'll christen her for now. She told me of this battle, where Rome remained unbowed. Standing at five foot one, 115 soaking wet, she was brought behind two tall Romans to back Jade's bed. The two centurions looked on. This little lady is going to get hurt. Jade barked out, are you questioning my orders? No, sir. The charge came crashing down like the sea a rocky tide. One. Twice stood the ground, and Jade smiled. Never underestimate one size. She honored her earthly home, the great empire, the republic of Rome. Win or lose, without fail, a smile. Now Thanatos guides her on her final mile. From centurion to knight to kinsman, she never ceased to give for her home. To Minerva's sacred hall venerated, forever the shield maid of Rome. That was really beautiful. Thank you so much. I thought about doing a song, and well, because everybody else is doing singing, I feel like me. Well, I think that was a nice, uh, a, a nice extension. In fact, um, anyone who took my class on courtesans and performing arts earlier today knows that in almost every place where, where courtesans were, they were known for their poetry. So I think this was a really excellent moment. Thank you so much for performing. What kingdom do you hail from, by the way? I hail from Meridies. Excellent. Meridies in the house. <laughs>